also in New Bern in an effort to better prepare for natural disasters in eastern North Carolina. City officials are holding public presentations regarding the city's storm plan. Now, not in your sides. Caitlin Richards was at that meeting tonight. So Caitlin, what do officials hope will come out of these sessions? Yeah, Courtney, New Bern city officials tell me they are holding resiliency plan meetings to make the public aware of efforts they've been taking since Hurricane Florence and to listen to the public suggestions to help with their planning process. New Bern is vulnerable to flooding threats and Hurricane Florence brought around $100 million in citywide total damages. Since then, New Bern officials have been taking action. The plan started immediately after after Florence. Uh, we spent two to three years uh, taking uh, community input, input from our city departments as well as uh, from experts around uh, the country and we uh, developed uh, a series of strategies and a series, a large number of actions to take to help us prepare, uh, respond, and recover from the next uh, major event. Shelley says Hurricane Florence damaged over 4,000 homes and 300 businesses, but he says he wants people to know. We've already started several of the action items. Uh, one is a uh, stormwater enhancement project for the Duffy Field neighborhood, and we are also now beginning a second project for the uh, improvement of the Duffy Field Canal. The plan itself is divided into six categories around economics, infrastructure, health and wellness, cultural resources, environmental and housing. During the meeting, the public pointed out the areas of concern in New Bern around flooding and listed their recommendations. So first of all, we in the plan, at least we have identified 10 top priority items out of the 61 various action items that are action, specific action items items listed in the plan, but we realize uh, this kind of uh, response actually needs m way more than 61 action items. So we're hoping that the public will come up with some more ideas. Another meeting for the public to give their input will be held in January. For more information about that meeting and the resiliency plan, we have a link posted on our website at WNCT.com. In studio, Caitlin Richards, 9 on your side.